<laughs> Howdy folks, John here from rchelicopterfund.com. Got a short but hopefully interesting little video for you here today. Before getting into it, I just want to wish all my American viewers a really happy Thanksgiving. And yeah, it's going to be a weird one. Up here in Canada, of course, we had our Thanksgiving last month and yeah, it was different. But you make the best of it, right? And uh, turkey dinner still tastes awesome. There's just more leftovers. And your COVID-20 quickly becomes a COVID-30. I didn't think I could ever get enough pumpkin pie. Well, I did this year. Anyway, I'm going to let Amber tell you what we're discussing today. Telemetry recovered. That's right. OMP's little built-in receiver is actually transmitting telemetry. Now, some of you may have known this already, but it was a complete shocker to me. I only found out last night when I updated the multi-protocol modules firmware to their latest stable, which is 1.3.1.77. After I did that, plugged the helicopter in, and I had a signal strength indicator, which of course never has been there before. I thought I had the wrong model and wrong helicopter, but a little more digging, and sure enough, Multi-Protocol's development team has unlocked the telemetry signal. So we can get battery voltage, RSSI signal strength, I think there's a packet loss and a couple of others. The two I'm going to monitor though are RSSI and battery level. You know, on a little micro it's not needed, but again, it's just the value, it's already built in. We don't have to pay a dime for it. Just update the firmware and that is the power of OpenTX, the multi-module and open source, right? And again, donating a few bucks every now and then to the OpenTX development team and multi-module development team, uh, so worthwhile because they keep giving us all these cool features, right? And this will work on the original M2 the V2 M2, the Explorer, and of course the new M1, and I think a couple of OMP's planes that run on the OMP protocol. I don't fly planes, but for any OMP plane flyers, if you want to comment below to let us know that telemetry works on the planes as well, please do so. So all you need to do is update the multi-module firmware. I've got a separate video on that. I will link to it below in the description. And then I'm just going to show you in the radio how to find the sensors, and then I'm just going to show you my quick little uh, widget setup but you can set up your widgets any way you want. After you update your multi-module firmware, you can go into your model setup menu and just confirm that. So go to your module status. It'll show you the firmware version that you're running in your multi-protocol module. So this is the newest one, 0.77. Of course, the helicopter is plugged in. There's our little signal strength indicator. Now I'm just gonna set my telemetry widgets the RSSI and the battery voltage up in my top bar here, but you could put them anywhere you want. I'm just going to show you quickly how I would do this. So we're going to go back into our model setup and we're going to go over to our telemetry setup. And we're going to go down to discover new sensors. Click on that. Okay, and we're going to stop discovery once they're all discovered. So there's six of them. A1 and A2 is the battery voltage. RSSI is the receiver signal strength indicator. TRSS, I believe, is transmitter receiver signal strength. And RQLY and TQLY, I'm not 100% sure on those. Comment below and let us know what those are if you know. Uh, I think the TQLY is something to do with packets, how many uh, full packets come through, but I could be wrong on that. And I'm only interested in the voltage and the RSSI, so that's what I'm going to be setting up. So we'll get out of here and we're going to go into our widget setup. And I want to go to our main widgets, the user interface one. And I want to add them to my top bar. So I'm going to my top bar setup. And here you can select the different boxes. I'm going to put my RSSI over on the far one here. And we want to go to the value setting screen. And you can scroll through all these. So over here we're at rudder. But if you just hold down the enter button, it separates them all and you can go down to your telemetry. Then you just don't have to scroll through them all. So there's our A1 battery voltage. No, we don't want that. We want RSSI. If you want, you can change the color. I'm just going to leave it white. I'm going to put a shadow around it though. So I'll just see how that looks. So there's the RSSI signal strength now. 
and we'll put the battery voltage right next to it. Again, we're going to go to value, click again, go down to telemetry, and A1. And actually, let's let's make this one uh, yellow, just so we've got something a little bit different. And we'll put a shadow around it. So there's the battery voltage. And if I spool the heli up, just hold it. We'll see that battery voltage drop as the motor. There we go. That's all there is to it. Get out of that. So now I've got my battery level and the RSSI. The radio will tell you if the RSSI is getting really low. You can do a range check and everything. And of course you could set up uh, some logical switch functions to monitor your battery voltage. If it gets too low, assign a siren or a voice alert to it. All kinds of things you can do. But uh, this is just basically to show you that OMP's receivers output telemetry and now we can access it. Cheers folks. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.